We had booked two tickets to London and we were headed for home. Leaving Eden behind with our friends was tough. Tears were shed on the day we left, but we knew she was in good hands. Leaving Thailand from the same place that we arrived felt strange. In less than a day, we would be back at London Heathrow. family brought us back to the house that I grew up in, a place of countless memories. We stayed in the exact same room where we packed our life into two bags. Back in familiar surroundings, it was like nothing had changed. Being reunited with my baby brother after so long, we caught up on the past year. It felt good to see my mum and be close to family again. After dozens of handwritten letters and no internet contact with my grandparents, I surprised them on their doorstep. And we exchanged stories over mugs of hot tea. We went to the city of London to explore, but this time we were tourists in our own town, seeing parts of the place we left behind through a whole new perspective. Drinking coffee with my old friend from work, it felt surreal to know that working here used to be my life. We met up with old friends and new, and I realised that I tend to take for granted being in the same place as both my brothers at the same time. Wrapped up in coats and warm clothes, we explored the English coastline and found new beauty in old sites. We had fallen back into our ordinary life, but things were about to get more dramatic. Like frozen moments in time, looking back through the pictures I couldn't tell you what we were laughing at, but those unrepeatable moments had been captured. Old party tricks, boys being boys, drinking games, all the signs of a great barbecue.
almost everyone we knew was packed into one house for that final barbecue gathering. Knowing we were in England for just a short while, we made the best of every moment. I spent a few days out with my girlfriends in the English summer sun. While I paid a nostalgic visit to my old Ford. The time we spent with friends and family was precious. But as we headed back to Chiang Mai, we realised that we had two homes, another place of countless memories. It turns out you can have as many homes as you want. <laughs>